Gentlemen, today we're going to be sewing these. Tigrid, Tigridi, well, can't pronounce it. Tigridia, Tigridia. And these are a beautiful, beautiful plant. A lot of people say you can't grow them as a perennial, but then other people say they're fine as long as in a well lit area. And they're not actually frozen and wet through all winter as long as it's good free and draining, quite sandy soil. So we also have to plant them five to ten centimetres deep. Well, I'm going to start probably six of these off. There's 20 in there, just in these pots, which are probably six, seven inches across. I'll plant them halfway down and we'll see how we get on with them, shall we? This is my first time growing these, but it's like anything else, any bulbs or anything, as long as you plant them at the right depth and feed them water them correctly, you shouldn't have any problems with them at all. It's March to May, flowers July to August, flower beds, borders and planters. So bulb size five to seven centimetres. So we should be fine in here, but I can't see how they are five to seven centimetres, can you? <sighs> <laughs> I think got that one. <laughs> anyway, let's get them open. Let's like, see what it says on, on here first, shall we? So it says, Tigridia is an exotic, beautiful. Each flower only lasts one day, but like very popular you know, Americalis, they continue to produce flowers for several weeks in late summer. So these are related to day lilies. Which is great. It says they're spaced in eight centimetres apart, which is probably about right in there. Well drained soil containing leaf mold and peat. So everything else is spot on. But I just love those. I just absolutely love them. You think you better grow something that looked that exotic in this country. Absolutely spot on. Let's get them open. Bear with me, ladies and gents. Sorry about this, folks. <coughs> We shall have a look at these bulbs, shall we? Always nice to grow something different. Every year, I always try and grow like at least five or six different things that I've not grown before. I always like to learn new things. I suppose they're not bad. So, let's get some soil in these first, shall we? So, fill them, probably a third full. I want to plant them at the depth they recommend. I'm using a peat based compost, like you said, growing peat, so that's perfect. Give it a tap down, both of them. A bit more, keep it nice and level. And then, top and bottom, it's quite self explanatory there. See the bottom with the dry roots, the top has got a point to it, the bottom is rounded if the roots aren't there. So it's three in it, I'm going to put three in each one of these, just like a little triangle. Two, three, let's do the other one. So yeah, I always love to learn new things in gardening. Never stop learning with gardening. Always, all the time. People, tips and tricks. I'm saying there, just cover. I'm gonna leave right to the top, just leave probably a centimetre so I can water them without the water running over the side. That's there. Give it a tap down with your hand so it's firm, but not too firm. And the next one. That's it. I'm planting these probably four weeks earlier than it says. I have my heated green now, so hopefully I might get some flowers a little bit earlier than they say. They say uh, August, September. Well, and some people said July, August, September, so we'll see. They're probably late flowering these. But I'm going to be probably taking them in every year because when it says, I'll just give them water with my little water bottle. Whenever they say they can survive, I'll probably. I'll probably plant some in the garden, see if they survive, that's the best thing to do. But all the ones in pots will be taken in and stored. Give them water like so. Once they've watered, they will go onto my shelves. And I shall wait for them to start germinating, sprouting and growing. So yeah, if you've got any questions about anything growing in my greenhouse, please let us check to us, folks. If you like my videos, please subscribe and like. Thank you for watching, everybody. Please keep safe. As always, happy sowing, happy growing. Me and Monkey say bye. Say bye goodbye, Monkey. Goodbye, Paul.